I just had an interesting conversation, which points out an obvious thing about people. Okay, I, I talked to this girl. She's really cool. Her name's Hannah. And uh, I find out she has a boyfriend today, which eh, sort of sucks because, you know, as soon as someone has a boyfriend, that means they can't hang out. Not like I'm trying to even date or have sex with anybody, really. I just want to go do stuff with people. Literally, I just want to go out. I want to go to movies, go do adventurous things, go skydiving, bungee jumping, uh, go, you know, start small and get bigger and bigger and bigger. Just do big things, do things. And it seems like nobody wants to because they're already involved with somebody who doesn't do anything. And if they, if they were so happy about their life, they wouldn't be so miserable. And I see them all acting miserable. And if they say they aren't, then they should be smiling all the time, all the time. Like literally, if they like if they're not smiling, they should be content. And if somebody addresses them, they should you know respond happily all the time, all the time. And if you're not responding happily all the time, there's something imbalanced in your life. If there's just you feel you know, unhappy inside, you know, because you, you know, whatever, there's something unbalanced inside that you can do something to change. If you're not happy all the time, then there is something that can be changed or at least content or able to readily respond in a happy manner. Okay. So I'm talking to her and I'm like, you know, why is it that anyone, you know, being my age, you can't just go up to a guy and be like, Hey guy, you want a new friend? You want to hang out? It makes it seem weird and desperate, like nerdy. And then uh, if you go up and ask any girl whether they're dating or not dating, if they're dating, I'm taken, I have a boyfriend, or I'm, I'm married or something. Or if they're not taken, it's, you know, you meet them online or, you know, through some kind of friend or a chat or texting or something. And it's like, before you even meet them, they tell you they want the real thing and they want the, you know, someone who treats them like gold and someone who's, you know, going to make them all theirs and all that kind of stuff. And it's like, you know, you don't even get to know anybody first. Like, go out and and have a night out go out and just I would say have a night out I don't even say date just or just hang out a couple times you know just go out and do something fun why does everything have to be be all end all right now because that's not what anything is people don't seem to understand they're rushing into relationships so they can break up in a couple weeks or a month or a year a couple years or 10 years down the road and they're like fuck I threw away a decade of my life but they don't have to do that because they can still love all the people that they've known in their past. They can still love all the people they know in their future and just realize that people are, are, are bundles of mistakes and accomplishments. And some of them don't coincide with every other person's mistakes and accomplishments. And that's just what they are. That's how they go. And as people learn and want to learn and become smarter and become more mature with how life works, then they start acting and living a little better. It's really up to them. So, I mean, there's nothing to say besides that. But when a person says that, you know, it makes sense why people don't, you know, want to hang out or do anything, she, she basically said, you know, go out to like a, a, a festival, go out to a, the Blue Herring Festival. And I'm thinking like, I shouldn't have to go to a yearly festival to meet some people. I'm talking about meet anybody right now. Meet people, go out for dinner. I don't want to go to the Blue Herring Festival to meet people to go out to hang out with for dinner, to watch a movie, to go just do something for fun. I don't want to have to go to a festival. In fact, I don't have to, and I won't because I'm not going out of my way. She's like, if you feel that's going out of your way, I'm like, it is. I mean, if, if that's how you're, you're, and she's only 19. So it's like in their social, you know, society, that's the way to do it. You go fit in where everyone else is fitting in. And that's not what I do. I don't go fit in where everyone else is fitting in. If I was invited by somebody who wanted to hang out, that's different. But I wouldn't just go there by myself looking to meet people. That's just, that's not how I, I want to do it. Especially with the knowledge I have and the person that I am, I'm not going to do that because that would seem needy and reachy and it's just not how it's going to happen. So, and the thing is, like she was saying how she hasn't had a TV in years and all that kind of stuff, and I'm like, me neither. I'm about 10. I mean, I have one for movies and if the kids want to play video games and stuff and she's like oh I'm trying to overdo everybody I'm like I'm a, like or something like that she didn't say like that but she was like oh well, I, I had it for longer or something like that and I'm like thinking I wasn't trying to say that that's, a, that's how long it's been I, I, I only know because I keep you know it's been that many years that I've been out of having a house and even at my parents house I have a TV but we're not really all that worried about cable we watch Wheel of Fortune I watch Wheel of Fortune that's it I don't watch anything else with Wheel of Fortune sometimes family feud because my parents are watching it and I love doing things with my parents so I don't watch TV I'm not interested in TV I'm not interested in 
clubbing. I'm not interested in, in outside sources. I'm interested in people, getting to know them and their inside and getting to know who they are. Not their inside as in like sexually. I mean, that doesn't bother me either, but that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking to get to know people and to love them the way they should be loved. And that's what people want. They just don't know it. People don't say, you know, what they want the most in anything in life is to be loved and accepted. And that's it. I'm a person who loves and accepts them, but they don't want it. So they have exactly what they want in me, but they don't want it because they don't know and they're not opening up their eyes. They're actually sort of ignorant, but I love them anyway. I'm not all people, not all things, but on a, in a general sense, the world itself is becoming pretty ignorant. There's a lot of us that are starting to rise up. I just don't happen to have any around me, you know, in my everyday life. I don't see many, you know, waking up people, but anyway, I'm driving, so I'll talk to you later. Peace.